I see the solitary land which I already saw on my left hand side in the vision of Jesus' baptism in the Jordan. But I must be somewhere inside the desert because I neither see the beautiful blue slow flowing river nor the green strips of vegetation which coast its banks and are nourished by its waters. There is nothing here but solitude, stones and such a parched earth that it has become a yellowish dust raised now and again by the wind in small eddies which are so hot and dry that they seem to be the breath of a feverish mouth and they are very troublesome because of the dust penetrating nostrils and throats there are very few small thorny bushes strangely surviving in so much desolation they look like small forelocks of surviving hair on a bald head above there is a merciless blue sky below arid land around stones and silence that is what i see as far as nature is concerned leaning against a huge piece of overhanging rock which because of its shape forms a kind of a grotto there is jesus sitting on a stone that has been taken into the cave that is how he protects himself from the scorching sun and my internal advisor informs me that the stone on which he is now sitting is also his kneeling stool and below when he takes a few hours rest enveloped in his mantle under a starry sky in the chill air of the night near him there is the hawa sack which i saw him take before departing from nazareth it is all he has and from the way it was folded i realize it has been emptied of the little food mary had put into it jesus is very thin and pale he is sitting with his elbows resting on his knees his forearms forward his hands joined and his fingers interlaced he is meditating now and again he looks up and around then looks at the sun almost perpendicular in the blue sky now and again particularly after looking around at the sun he closes his eyes and leans on the rock sheltering him as if he were seized by dizziness i see satan's ugly face appear he does not show himself in the features we imagine him horns tail etc he looks like a bedouin enveloped in his robe and in a large mantle that resembles a domino He is wearing a turban on his head and its white flaps fall along his cheeks down to his shoulders protecting them thus only a very small dark triangle of his face can be seen with thin sinuous lips very black hollow eyes full of magnetic flashes two eyes that penetrate and read into the bottom of your heart but in which you can read nothing or one word only mystery the very opposite of jesus's eyes also so magnetic and fascinating which read in your heart but in which you can also read that in his heart there is love and bounty for you jesus's eyes caress your soul satan's are like a double dagger that stabs and burns you he approaches jesus are you alone jesus looks at him but does not reply how did you happen to be here did you get lost jesus looks at him and is silent If I had water in my flask I would give you some but I have none myself my horse died and I am now going on foot to the fort I will get a drink there and I will find someone who will give me some bread I know the road come with me I'll take you there Jesus does not even look at him You are not answering do you know that if you stay here you will die the wind is already beginning to blow there will be a storm come Jesus clenches his hands in silent prayer Ah it is you then I have been looking for you for such a long time and I have been watching you for so long since you were baptized are you calling the eternal he is far away you are now on the earth in the midst of men and I reign over men and yet I feel sorry for you and I want to help you because you are so good and you have come to sacrifice yourself for nothing men will hate you because of your goodness they understand nothing but gold food and pleasure Sacrifice, sorrow, obedience are words more arid for them than the land around us here. They are more arid than this dust. Only snakes can hide here, waiting to bite, and jackals waiting to tear to pieces. Come with me. It's not worthwhile suffering for them. I know them better than you do. Satan has sat down in front of Jesus, and he scrutinizes him with his dreadful eyes and smiles at him with his snake-like mouth. Jesus is always silent and is praying mentally. You don't trust me. You are wrong. I am the wisdom of the earth. I can be your teacher and show you how to triumph. See, the important thing is to triumph. Then once we have imposed ourselves and we have enchanted the world, then we can take them wherever we want. But first, we must be as they wish us to be, like them. We must allure them, making them believe that we admire them and follow their thoughts.
you are young and handsome start with a woman one must always start from her i made a mistake inducing her to be disobedient i should have advised her differently i would have turned her into a better instrument and i would have beaten god i was in a hurry but you i will teach you because one day i looked at you with angelical joy and a fraction of that love is still left in me but you must listen to me and make use of my experience find yourself a woman where you do not succeed she will you are the new adam you must have your eve in any case how can you understand and heal the diseases of the senses if you do not know what they are don't you know that that is where the seed is from which the tree of greediness and arrogance sprouts why do men want to reign why do they want to be rich and powerful to possess women she is like a lark she will be attracted only by something sparkling gold and power are the two sides of the mirror that draw women and are the causes of the evil in the world look in a thousand different crimes there are at least 900 that take root in the lust of possessing a woman or in the passion of a woman burning with a desire that man has not yet satisfied or can no longer satisfy but what a fool i am you are hungry and i am talking to you of woman your energy is exhausted but look at these stones how round and smooth they look gilded by the setting sun don't they look like loaves since you are the son of god all you have to say is i want and they will become sweet smelling bread just like the loaves housewives are taken out of their ovens for the supper of their families and these arid acacias if you only wish so will they not be filled with sweet fruit and dates as sweet as honey eat your fill son of god you are the master of the earth the earth is bowing down to put itself at your feet and appease your hunger Don't you see that you are turning pale and unsteady at the mention of bread? Poor Jesus, are you so weak that you cannot even work a miracle? Shall I work it for you? I am not your equal, but I can do something. I will do without any strength for a whole year. I will gather it all together, but I want to serve you because you are good, and I always remember that you are my God, even if now I have forfeited calling you so. Help me with your prayers that I may be quiet. Man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil starts with anger, he grinds his teeth and clenches his fists, but he controls himself and turns his grinding into a smile. I understand. You are about the necessities of the earth and you are disgusted at making use of me. I deserved it, but come then and see what there is in the house of God. You will see how even priests do not refuse to come to a compromise between the spirit and the flesh. After all, they are men. and not angels work a spiritual miracle i will take you up to the pinnacle of the temple and you will undergo a transfiguration and become most handsome you will then call the chorus of angels and will tell them to form a foot rest for your feet with their interlaced wings and to let you down thus into the main yard so that people may see you and remember that god exists one must show oneself now and again because man's memory is so weak particularly with regard to spiritual matters you can imagine how happy the angels will be in forming a protection for your feet and a ladder for you to descend it is said you must not put the lord your god to the test you understand that your apparition would not change anything and the temple would continue to be a market full of corruption your divine wisdom is aware that the hearts of the ministers of the temple are nests of vipers that tear and are torn to pieces for the sake of prevailing they are subdued only by human power well then come adore me i will give you the earth alexander cyrus caesar all the great rulers past or present will be like the leaders of miserable caravans as compared with you as you shall have the kingdoms of the world under your sceptre and the kingdoms all the wealth all the beautiful things on earth women horses armies and temples you will be able to raise your sign everywhere when you are the king of kings and the lord of the world you will then be obeyed and respected both by the people and by the priesthood all classes will honor and serve you because you will be the powerful one the only one the lord adore me for one moment only appease this thirst of mine for being worshiped it ruined me but it is still left in me and i am parched by it the flames of hell are like a fresh morning breeze as compared to this fierce ardor burning inside me it is my hell one moment one moment only christ you are so good one moment of joy for the eternally tortured one let me feel what it is like to be god and i will be a devoted obedient servant for all of your life and all your enterprises one instant one instant only and i will no longer torture you and satan falls on his knees imploring Jesus instead stands up. He has lost weight because of the long days of fast and he now looks taller. His face is terribly severe and potent. 
His eyes are two burning sapphires. His voice is like thunder. It reverberates in the cave of the huge stone and spreads over the stony, desolate plain. When he cries, Be off, Satan. It is written, You must worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Satan, with a cry of fearful torture and indescribable hatred, springs to his feet, a dreadful sight in his furious smoky figure, and he disappears with a last cursing yell.